Thousands of Americans have finally made their way back to the United States from Israel. Since the war began, thousands of flights have been canceled, leaving Americans scrambling to find a way home. Fox's Kaylee Schuyler joins us live from JFK Airport in New York City, where a new round of commercial flights arrived with travelers. Kaylee. Alex, standing at the airport terminal, a lot of these families have been really emotional because they didn't know when they were going to see their loved ones next because of all of this flight chaos. So there have been a lot of long embraces here at JFK accompanied with tears or even laughter because they were just so excited to be reunited. But for those who are arriving here at the airport, it's been a long couple of days of travel because there are several steps to this process. The first step is U.S. charter flights helped many of these travelers get from Israel to to Greece, and then there was an overnight layover there. Then they used a commercial flight to get back here to New York City. And for many of those who did not live in New York, they will have to catch another flight or maybe even two to get to their final destination. Here at the airport, there was a big crowd of people around one this morning waiting to be reunited with passengers. I spoke with one man who was in Israel for just over a month before the war broke out, and he was planning on staying for a year. He was reunited with two family members last night, and he says He's happy to be safe and done with all of the flight chaos, but worried about the loved ones left behind. There was like a lot, like it was going back and forth, like the flights were getting like disappearing on the app, like website and app, like you weren't able to book them and like it was very chaotic at that point. It was just so shocking to me when I got back to Jerusalem that like I literally just left there and now they're getting attacked. Like and like now I'm just like hoping and praying for my grandparents to make sure everyone's okay. Tonight, another flight from Athens and one direct flight from Israel is expected to land in the next few hours. At JFK Airport in New York, Kaylee Schuyler, Fox 5 News.